I grew up like old school, Western end of independence, kids everywhere, little bitty streets. Came to uh, Palmer Junior High, as was known then in 1963. Grew up here, um, stayed in independence, and uh, I left at the end of my junior year of high school, and I never really expected to be back. Great grandfather moved from uh, England in the early 1900s. You know, from a history of farmers and literally moonshine runners, uh, they settled here, uh, you know, in eastern Jackson County, and we've been here ever since. At one point, this was the west. This was the edge of the United States. The eastern boundary of Jackson County was the beginning of that last incorporated government. Of course, independence has an awesome history that we see and feel today. We are still kind of that, that, that central point, that point in eastern Jackson County where people come for commerce, where they come for uh, finances, where they come for employment. When people came to Independence, they were often looking for new opportunities or sometimes came here to get ready for that next opportunity. But other people came here, stayed here, provided the infrastructure, built their businesses around those other people. We moved to Independence because I had an opportunity to open my business here, uh, and we moved here about six years ago. There's something about Independence that has the amenities of a bigger city, but also kind of has a smaller hometown feel, which is where we're from originally. We have all of the opportunity and the advantage of being part of a thriving metropolitan area, but we have all the perks and the, the compassion that comes with living in a small town community. Like even going into the coffee shop this morning, everybody was knowing everybody and talking to each other, so it still really had that small hometown feel. There's a strong sense of community and his, the independence history is a common thread. I think if you go back to the start of the city back in the 1800s, you know, this was the point where the pioneers loaded up their wagons. So the merchants around the square, they were loading up the goods for the trip west. And I don't think that's really changed over the, over the decades and even over the centuries because we are still kind of that, that, that central point. It's one of the things as to why we opened a business here. It's one of the reasons why uh, my family's been here 100 years and has remained and continues to, to live here um, is the people. That sense of being part of something bigger than ourselves, that meant um, making sure that everyone in the community that we lived in was um, okay, that they had what they needed. The people of this community are hard workers. They have a strong work ethic. They provide um, the type of labor pool that companies need to be successful. What are other things that we can do to help other industries, to help once they get beyond the incubation stage? You know, I think there's been a lot of work done here, especially within this downtown over the last 20 years that, you know, we just weren't familiar with at the time. Um, but we just saw a, a huge potential for growth, and I think it's continued to do that. In all the communities that I've worked with over the years, I've never seen a community that comes together as a community, not only the business community, but the leadership. Um, and that's really important for commerce, it's, it's vital. Um, it takes a community kind of working together to make this all successful. And in independence, we get that done. One thing that I'm seeing now is that independence is becoming an interesting juxtaposition of a very historic town that's also looking to the future, that's also working on innovative um, ideas for how to improve the lives of its citizens. We work with companies every single day and what, they, what they're challenged with is how do they keep up? A new startup, a new technology company, what we're doing with the Innovation Center Incubator. We started um, primarily as a, as a space for folks to get started, as a flexible space that folks can come in, have access to a commercial kitchen, have access to conference rooms, have access to all those physical assets that any startup business is going to need. So it's incredibly exciting to see um, other organizations, seeing the city, seeing the community, come together to see what are those other pieces. What else can we put in place to help folks in this community? I see a community that uh, continues to support its public education system, that continues to focus on preserving its past while at the same time improving and uh, rebuilding its infrastructure. We've adapted to the moves that had to be made and that's I think one of the big things is 
You know, if companies don't adapt to change, they don't survive. There's a lot of great American stories to be told in this community, and um, you know, I think the next great one is is just waiting to be told.